<laughs> that is refreshing on this episode of the Special Chronicles podcast as we are talking all about we refreshing Team Coca-Cola uh, with this Coca-Cola Zero Show that I have here in the studio. And that is... Uh, the, oh, that's uh, that is uh, the main topic for the yep for the episode today on the Special Chronicles podcast and Special Chronicles dot com. This is Special Chronicles, giving respect and a voice to people with special needs. I shudder thinking how the world can be so cruel. I lend my voice. To those who can't, it's time we try, it's time we care, it's time we stand. It starts with the boys. Is that refreshing? Welcome to the Special Chronicles podcast. My name is Daniel Spikowski. I'm the founder and host of Special Chronicles, a Southern Tribal Global Messenger alum with Special Olympics, and the team Coca Cola athlete our website specialchronicles.com we can stream archives over 750 episodes absolutely for free and to follow special chronicles on social media apple podcast spotify or wherever you get your podcast this week on the special chronicles podcast team coca-cola subway everyday greatness series if you couldn't tell already for those of you just listen to audio podcasts go check out this is an episode that you're going to want to go check out the video on youtube as i enjoy this coca-cola zero struggle our guest is Francesca, the director of Global uh, Sports and Entertainment Partnerships with Co- the Coca-Cola Company. As we talk all about how her team is we re- is refreshing Team Coca-Cola at the Paris 2024 Olympics and Paralympics. Please put your virtual hands together as we welcome Francesca on the Special Chronicles podcast. Welcome, Francesca. Hi, Daniel. How are you? Uh, welcome. Nice to see nice. you, and thank you for having me. Yes, it, it's awesome. Um, I'm, 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 I'm glad that that you made some time. I, I know it's a busy time as, as Paris is 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 coming up in just a few weeks from now. Yes, very much a busy time, but everything good and positive. Awesome, yeah. And I um thanks to um to you and your team for sending. Uh, a bunch of um, um, Coca-Cola cans um, for me and my family to enjoy. I am enjoying it in the studio right now. Uh, <laughs> and uh, usually I have the I have the um, smart water um, <laughs> in the studio, but I thought, well, it's it's a um, special special show today. Uh, so for our, our listeners, um, we got connect well well yeah we got connected and i was trying to um recall and um uh, a mutual friend of ours sherry who retired from special olympics had um texted both of us this morning and um we minded that we met at the other Dab- at the special olympics World games in Abu Dhabi five years ago i believe can you kind yeah. of share with us uh, from your perspective, how we got Sure, sure. Um, yeah, we met in Abu Dhabi in 2019. Uh, we sponsored a lunch at the World Games. And that time, I, I believe you were still or were a, a global messenger for Special Olympics. So you were part of the guest list. And, um, you know, and since 2020, more or less, we have been doing a team coca-cola for the olympic games and the team coca-cola includes athletes from different uh, you know sports different uh, movements and represent the values of inclusion acceptance and optimism and definitely sherry recommended your name because she thought you were an excellent candidate to portray um, these messages for special olympics as part of team coca-cola Awesome. I know I, after coming back from the, well, fast forward from our Dhabi to the Berlin World Games, coming back, I was, I, both, both, both lunches, I get, I had 
I was the Southern Tribal Global Messenger that gave a speech. And uh, after coming back, when I think Francesca had emailed me and my mentor, and I was completely surprised to be selected to, to be on the team. Uh, and so, um, as, as you mentioned, Team Team Coca Cola, um, we um, got we we connected in Barcelona at the photo shoot for Team Coca Cola, the end of October 2023. Mm -hmm. uh, and you share some because that, that that was where um, one of the reasons for having you on the podcast is we, we were talking at. Um, one of the uh, dinners, uh, and can you share some highlights from meeting myself? Sure. Athlete, um, hanging out in sure. Sure. along with with Cisco and the two locations. Sure. Yes. So um, yeah, we did a, a photo shoot uh, last year in order to prepare for the Olympic Games and all the materials that we wanted to develop for, for the Games. And um, it was an honor to have you and your sister and host you at that uh, photo shoot. I don't know if you remember, but we had even your personal trailer where you were doing your makeup and your clothing. And, and that was man, one of my highlights because I remember you felt really like a rock star. <laughs> um, I don't know that you had done that before. So it was really no, cool no, to see no, that was um, <laughs> from you and all the other athletes, you know, to make sure that, you know, you feel like part of the family and part of, of this amazing program we have for Paris. Yeah, it, it definitely was, it, it, it definitely did make me feel like a mm -hmm. rock star and, and, and part of the family because I know it was a little challenging getting here because our flight was delayed and then we were in the Frankfurt airport for 14 hours but finally it was neat to be able to connect with with everyone and I know um, if our listeners listen to the, um, the, the episode at the first week of July we had um, Sean um, who's a rock climber mm -hmm. from Canada, and he, he he talked about that a lot of times when we're competing, we'll isolate with just the uh, just the athletes competing in our sport, and so he 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 he, he which I agree, it, it was neat to be able to connect with other athletes, and and speaking of having all um all Olympics, Olympics, Paralympics, and Special Olympics. Can you comment on on what what it was like? Um, that the, there was twenty six six of us athletes throughout that that week at the photo shoot. So, what can you comment on what what it was like to to see all three Olympic movements coming together? Sure. So these are, are things that for me are, are key about my job, you know, how it makes me proud um, to make, you know, the difference in people's lives and just bringing people together. And, and that's yeah. why I'm so proud to work for a company like Coca-Cola. Uh, part of it is also educating society about differences, you know, and, and as we bring all these three movements together, you know, we, we can see that there's more similarities than differences and people just need to understand that by experience, right? It's very hard to tell people until they experience that, you know, you're a special Olympic athlete, so we have a Paralympic athletes or an Olympic athlete that all they want to do is do better and just you know, participate in these amazing movements, uh, share moments together and learn from each other. So for me, that's really valuable and that's part of why I do what I do every day. Awesome, awesome. And um, I, hopefully the uh, interaction is gonna stay stable throughout the, uh, throughout the recording today. Uh, but now let's kind of, before we get back to talking about Team Coca Cola, uh, I, I, I take a listen back to how 
you got involved in sports and entertainment partnerships with the Coca-Cola company? How did you get involved in 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 this field? Sure. So it's funny how life goes, right? You never know um, how careers or, or opportunities are going to come about. But um, I was in Costa Rica. I was always working in advertising. Um, my dad was actually an entrepreneur and founder of an advertising agency in the region. So I was always involved in marketing and, and just communication in general. Um, in 1998, around that time, I started working for an agency that was servicing Coca-Cola, which by chance was the one that my dad had sold to a big uh, agency. So everything is funny how, how it connects, right? Um, so after two years of working in that agency, Coca-Cola hired me and transferred me to Atlanta to the then group was called uh, Worldwide Sports. So it was all more about sports. Um, but who knew, you know, 23 years later, I'm still working in sports and entertainment. Now our group is called Epics. So it's entertainment partnerships, influencers, culture and sports. And um, I, I love what I do. I mean, I never thought I was going to end up in sports and, and entertainment, but that's uh, where I have been, you know, for the last 23 years. And actually, this year is my 25th anniversary with the company. So that shows you awesome. how much I like what I do. <laughs> Still here. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Uh, we're going to take a quick break uh, and we'll come back and talk a little bit about Team Coca-Cola. And just to uh, let all of you listening know the support for Special Chronicles comes from listeners like you. Please join our supporters with a monthly, a one-time donation today, specialchronicles.com slash give. And if you want to access all uh, Special Chronicles Plus, all behind-the-scenes bonus content, uh, a little bit of uh, where we break down that fourth wall and you can see – uh, with with, with us and, and 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 see us making sure all the the microphones was on and and everything. See all that behind the scenes. Specialchronicles.com slash plus. Uh, and hopefully by the time this episode goes live, that Special Chronicles Plus will be. Uh, uh, hopefully it will be live. Our website team is currently working on that at the time of the recording of this episode. And with that. Uh, yeah, so so hopefully that um, Francisco, hopefully all um, all um, uh, bonus content will be live. We're currently working on that. Uh, you know how that works. There's a lot of behind the scenes work that that goes on. Uh, but now switching into Team Coca Cola, because um, when I was selected to to uh, to to be on this team, it was my first time hearing about this. Because I think. Uh, in uh, you had either mentioned or or uh, Micho Francesco had mentioned that this is the second time that having a special Olympics athlete on the team. Uh, which I just um, in, in in talking with my coworkers and friends and family, it's really empowering that I'm representing the over six million special Olympics athletes and really showing how we're fully included alongside the Olympic and Noah Olympic athletes. So it's 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 really it's it's been a gratifying experience the, the past year uh, to 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 be on this team. So uh, and and share share with our listeners what is Team Coca Cola and what as well as what each of each of us athletes are doing as a part of the, the team. Sure. So um Team Coca-Cola, as you mentioned, this is not the first time we do it. You know, we did it for 2020 in Tokyo um, and we had two special Olympic athletes. We had Paralympic athletes and Olympic athletes as part of the team. And part of it is education about, you know, the different sports and movements. But also, um, you know, the, the idea is to have people with diverse identities and talents that range from being gold medalists to people that are only going to the games for the first time and uh, to give Team Coca-Cola a voice in order to help us magnify you know, our company and our brand messages through campaigns and communications. But to be honest, what is more critical for me 
is also to make you feel part of the family, right? So I think we try to do that with continuous communication and messages and just, you know, keeping you in, in the loop with things we're doing, problems we're facing so that you are not caught off guard and, and you're just part of, of what we are doing. And I think you have felt that, I hope, but that's that's the main thing for us. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, it, it definitely feels that way. Uh, we we mentioned in in the first segment how all three Olympic movements, uh, Olympics, Paralympics, and Special Olympics are coming together as, as a part of this team. Can you share with all those ones what does it mean to have uh, all of us global athletes uh, to be on Team Coca-Cola? Well, it's a, an amazing feeling because you get to see the capabilities of each athlete, right? Versus what we right. talk differences or or disabilities. I see it more as different abilities. And I think this has been amazing um, to see when you bring together, you know, Paralympics, Special Olympics and Olympic athletes uh, around the world, you know, because we're not doing this in one country. We're bringing... Uh, you know, several countries together in one platform representing what your sports are, what your movement are, and uh, educating others about uh, differences and similarities. So I think this is critical for us when we bring you all together. Uh, so yeah, it, it definitely felt that way, and especially doing the, doing the photo shoot. I know we were all there at different times throughout the week, but it, it, it was... It was an it was an empowering moment to to be um, both at dinner and just throughout the different shoots uh, to be uh, connected with with the athletes from each of the uh, movements. Uh, as as you know, a little listeners, by the time the uh, listeners hear this, will be the end of July. The uh, Paris uh, uh, Olympics will, will be just out in, and the Paris Olympics uh, start in soon after that. I'm sure all the listeners are going to be, when they see a lot of the messages that Coca Cola uh, has uh, or is putting out, they're going to see uh, celebrating everyday greatness. And I, I know we had to show a quote. I don't, um, my quote that I gave them, I, I don't have my quote handy right now. Uh, it's somewhere in my notes, but uh, from, from from your perspective and the Coca-Cola company's perspective, can you kind of share, with us, share with us what is so uh, celebrating everyday greatness and, and means to uh, you? Sure. So I think uh, everyday greatness is more about greatness. The most we do every day uh, in life is not about, you know, necessarily uh, only your sport or, you know, your work, but it's all about things, little things you do every day. So we try to portray this in the campaign in the moments uh, that you all uh, shot, you know, as part of, of the production that show part of your personal life, your sports life, you know, family life with your families, uh, with your colleagues, uh, with your society. And um, so I think a little bit of that is just, you know, how we can do also little acts that can change the world. Um, and sometimes it's just doing something for others. So I think when you show those moments of greatness so that are only in your sport, those moments of greatness are not only in your sport. Awesome, awesome. I definitely, definitely agree. And uh, I should have had my quote handy uh, <laughs> um, there, but uh, we will maybe on uh, on an upcoming episode, we'll, I'll, I'll, I'll share that with all listeners. But uh, quickly, just want to just briefly let all of you listening know that uh, support for Special Chronicles also comes from the ComEd Energy Force Ambassador Program. 
uh, the country's first energy and solar efficiency education program designed for and taught by people with disabilities. Learn more at specialchronicles.com slash ComEd. That's specialchronicles.com slash ComEd. And support for Special Chronicles comes from United Airlines Bridge Disability Business Resource Group, uh, connecting people of all abilities, loan more on United's commitment to disability uh, inclusion for employment and travel at specialchronicles.com slash United. That's specialchronicles.com slash United. And uh, I were a little bit delayed on some graphics on the uh, wool. Just gonna wool with it, and uh, it uh, for those. Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna and uh, and uh, as we um, kind of switch gears now a little bit to. Um, the the time I so this this episode is airing the 29th of July, and so right around the time of the uh, Olympics and the Paralympics uh, uh, Olympic show shortly after, as we said, how is uh, team because as um, how, how is the Coca Cola company supporting Team Coca Cola, but then also really all the Olympic and Paralympic uh, Olympic athletes on the ground in Paris. I'm sure there'll be tons of Coca-Cola, Smelt Water, a bunch of the different products, but uh, can you share how the Coca-Cola company is supporting the athletes on the, on the ground in Paris? Sure. Um, sure. We are refreshing the refreshing the volunteers, the media, the volunteers, the media. We're also during the in addition, in addition, Awesome, awesome. And I know on on a call that we were on uh, last month, uh, I remember hearing um, about some of the some of the plans. So it, it sounds pretty pretty exciting to, to, to hear just how Coca Cola is refreshing. I, I know the the similar similar thing happening at the Special Olympics World Games and. Berlin and Abu Dhabi, and I'm sure the the, the upcoming as well. Uh, sw switching gears now slightly to because uh, there was a big a big announcement that uh, I don't know if all if all listeners paid close attention to um, earlier this month, I believe uh, the Coca Cola Company and Special Olympics International announced their eight year partnership. Extension, which is the longest renewal in the 56 years of Special uh, Olympics, and I believe I think you said that this is the first time of an eight-year partnership extension. So this will include the 2025 World Winter Games in Turin, Italy, and the 2027 World Summer Games in Santiago. Any other exciting events ahead? Can you? Share with our listeners what does this partnership extension mean to you and the Coca Cola Company, especially being ready. I, I believe in a stoic moment of extended, not just for a few years, but a eight year extension with Special Olympics and the Coca Cola Company. Sure. So I, I think I mentioned this before, but I, I manage the partnership for like 10 years at least. Yes. Um, so, you know, this personally is, is amazing because I feel that 
you know, it's going to be a continuous commitment for for the company to do something like supporting the athletes of Special Olympics. Uh, but for the company, it's also an amazing opportunity to have a, a long-term partnership like we this because that means that we can involve our marketing team yes. for a longer period of time, um, which helps you bring more engagement with uh, our society and our communities and our consumers, but also education for our system and the markets that we serve. So I think it will be very helpful to have a longer term um, activation that we can cover so many games, like you said, in 25, 27, um, so that we can, you know, bring more value for, for Special Olympics and for the company. Absolutely. I uh, absolutely agree. And I know the we're well, coming up at about around 27, well, uh, coming up on probably about half hour uh, of, uh, of uh, the episode. So I know the time is um, uh, flying by, uh, but uh, it, if you want, we've got a few final Final notes in this final segment on the special Chronicles podcast. Our guest is Francesca from Coca Cola and Company. And can you share with our listeners uh, how how can they follow Team Coca Cola as well as Coca Cola Company on the social media? Mostly for those listening to the just to the audio podcast, because uh, um, most of our listeners listen to us on audio. Um, we do have people that listen will watch the video, but. Uh, episode, but um, but how how can also follow Team Coca Cola and the Coca Cola Company? Sure, we have uh, several hashtags that we can follow on social. Um, one is hashtag Celebrate Everyday Greatness. Another one is at Coca Cola, and then another one is at at the Coca Cola Co. So at the Coca Cola CO, and then uh, also you can do hashtag Powerade, for example, for for the different brands we have a hashtag. But Powerade is one that uh, you know it's also can be included as one of the ones you can follow. Awesome, awesome. So I'll I'll I made a note of hashtag Powerade, so I'll make sure to add that to the show notes. So we'll we'll I'll be listening. You can look down below in the in the description to, to, to follow those uh the hashtags and follow coca-cola uh to, to see i know if if, if a listener is look all on uh, if, if you're on instagram and you look up hashtag celebrate everyday greatness uh you will see all those uh those gif which before being on this team coca-cola i i didn't know um what what a gif was that six second video until the uh, the the 160 over 90 agency had 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 sent that to us. So it, it's it's pretty exciting to, to 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 see all of us put it on that that Coca Cola jacket and it was mm-hmm. it, it, it neat, neat to see how we, we were all connected. And, and then that that picture that they shared with us of where they. And photoshopped us all uh, together. It was neat to, to kind of see us all as one team. Yes. Did, did you want? To, maybe I, I know this is going off script a little bit, but did you want to maybe um, comment on on any of those six second GIF um, um, videos with the global announcement, as well as that the the picture of of, of a whole team Coca Cola? Sorry, Daniel. I don't. I'm not sure. I heard your question very well. Um, did you did you want to comment on on the uh, on on what it was like seeing uh, the six second GIF um, um, uh, videos uh, that we we put out for the global uh, announcement and that and that picture of 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 our team? Oh yeah, it's amazing because then it comes to life, right? Everything we do in the planning and just you know thinking about everything we're gonna produce and everything we're gonna do. Um, like you said, in Barcelona, um, that was amazing to see come to life and and see in paper, you know, that all these people with different um, gifts, different abilities are are together representing the company, but also representing that bond, which was really, really special. 
Absolutely, absolutely. Um, be, before we get to the final question, uh, uh, do you have any final thoughts on your overall time you today on the Special Chronicles podcast that you'd like to share with our um, listeners? Yes. Um, so I, I thank you very much for hosting me and, and giving me the privilege to be here today and, and talk about, you know, what we have done together and how it feels for you to represent the Coca-Cola company. But I think what you do, Daniel, it's a, an amazing task that is really critical. And that is about giving a voice to people that maybe don't have a voice and giving a voice of inclusion and acceptance that is critical in the world we live today. I think we're we're all inundated with information and pace, fast-paced communication, but nobody has time to just sit and think about the important things and things that really matter. And, and I think what you do brings that value of people having to just take a little break and listen to those messages that we're trying to, to portray here. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. It's it's really gratifying now doing this uh, just a little bit over 15 years now that uh, was still able on that. I'm still able to make an impact uh, through this podcasting platform uh, that so many people are able. And I've I've heard stories from uh, uh, listeners who support perspective on, on disability has changed just by listening to my story and listening to the other stories on, on the podcast. So I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm glad that we're highlighting Team Coca-Cola and that we're highlighting this as a, po a powerful way of showing inclusion with the Olympic movements. Um, all three Olympic movement and, and the Coca-Cola company and, and, and how we're really able to bring light to uh, just just how powerful the Coca-Cola company is in in connecting with us. Um, we've got one final question and we've got a bumper, so let's go ahead and roll that bumper. We are the ambassadors of an upper peaceful protesters in a rebellion against anyone who has a fear of difference. Different. Difference. Our demands are equality, 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 dignity, 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 and the recognition of our shared humanity. We will not stop or accept anything less. Today, our world is more divided than ever. And coming together has never been more urgent. The revolution is inclusion. Find out more at jointherevolution.org. I will since I attended the 2019 Special Olympics World Games and Abu Dhabi, well, I also was enjoying some. Uh, um, oh, I should I should know how to how to properly hold this to show the brand, right? That's sort of something that we learned about in, in the photo shoot, uh, where, where, where I where we will be in refreshed with Coca Cola. Uh, I've been asking all of us one final question that. Um, Francesco, we we not only want our listeners to uh, to 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 listen to our content to hear, but we want our listeners to take action into their uh, communities. And this final question really does just that. It will let our listeners, after listening to us for the for the past half hour, to really uh, take take from you and, and bring inclusion into their workplaces, it brings inclusion into their communities. So as it relates to Team Coca-Cola and all three Olympic movements coming together, what does inclusion mean to you? And what does inclusion mean to the Coca-Cola company? Yes, inclusion to me means everything because, uh, you know, I think it's critical to be open-minded, to learn from others, to Keep learning, right? Um, and the only way you can do that is if you hear diverse points of view and you can only do that if you're open to it. So I think um, it is important from a personal standpoint, but not only by chance, I have spent you know, the last 25 years of, of my life at Coca-Cola because 
at, at Coca-Cola. Uh, we respect the differences. We welcome and nurture diverse points of view. And this is what really makes uh, truly our company a global company um, because we practice this every day by working with people from all over the world. Um, this creates a great job environment, uh, creates innovation, and, and makes you feel like you're in an accepting and optimist culture. So that is why I feel like, you know, I have a perfect match with, with the company because that's how I run my life in general terms. But um, also I think the partners we look at, uh, for example, with Special Olympics, those values of acceptance, inclusion, and optimism are, are critical for us and for, for that partnership. So everything we do, we try to, to find, you know, what is that, that point of view of inclusion and acceptance. Absolutely. Well, that's a perfect way to wrap up this episode. Um, Francisco, it's been a joy. I know it, it was uh, a lot of fun to not only be, be with you in – Abu Dhabi at the World Games, but also uh, in Barcelona at the photo shoot. Um, we had um, uh, 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 a lot of fun. I know it was uh, a lot of work for all of us, for, for you and your team, for the 160 over 90 team, but also for for us to be able to um, uh, 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 properly hold the <laughs> all, all, all <laughs> Of the products and the multiple takes and the uh, uh, I'm spraying down the, the bottles, but it, it's it's like you said, it's a, a real joy to, to to be fully included on on. Don't forget feeling like a rock star. Oh, well, feeling like a rock star too. Yeah, it it, it definitely yeah it it, it definitely was. Uh, I know I um my. my when my other job, when when I, when I'm not at Special Chronicles, is at United Airlines, and I know my uh, all uh, my my manager and and our communications team had shared the the the, the news uh, to all the United employees, and so I know a lot of people have been coming coming up to me, whether in my <laughs> local community here or even at you. you United Airlines, so it 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 it, it, it really was amazing. Uh, quick, a few final notes for all of you listening. You can shop our merchandise store. I know that sixty percent of the profits will go to Special Chronicles. Our Special Chronicles merch store is our Disabled Voices Matter line of merch. It's managed by Outshine Labels. We have T-shirts, hoodies, coffee mugs. I'm not wearing it today, but if you go to specialchronicles.com/shop. You can uh, shop our most next store today. And keep following the Special Chronicles podcast. We have new episodes that will drop every month. We've got some exciting content coming to you in the coming months. Some content I can't – we are in production of – pre-production of right now that I can't talk about. But if you keep following the, the Special Chronicles podcast, you will know. We've got – we're currently working on a, on a series – that is so excited. I think, Francesca, you got a little sneak peek a little bit. Um, but that, that's all I'm going to say. Uh, just keep following the Special Chronicles podcast. Subscribe to our newsletter and follow us on social media. All those links are on specialchronicles.com. Thank you. Augusta has been Francesca, the director of uh, uh, Sport and Entertainment Partnerships at the Coca-Cola Company. We've been talking all about how Coca-Cola is refreshing uh, team Coca-Cola at the Paris Olympics and Paralympics. Thank you again, Francesca, for coming on this podcast. Thank you. And we'll talk, we'll talk to you all next week. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Special Chronicles podcast. Our podcast was produced by Daniel Smukowski on the Special Chronicles Network. Follow Special Chronicles on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. Subscribe, rate, and review Special Chronicles on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Our website, specialchronicles.com, where you can stream our archives of over 500 episodes for absolutely for free. Also, there's a list of our favorites, original series, award-winning columns, and blogs. And sign up for our newsletter to receive exclusive bonus content that delivers your inbox. Again, specialchronicles.com. Special Chronicles is hosted by Podbean Podcast Hosting, our live streams are powered by StreamYard. 
Thanks, as always, to our business manager, Adam Smukowski, who always in- encourages us to never give up. I'm Daniel Smukowski. Back next week with more stories. Special Chronicles. Giving respect and a voice to people with special needs.